this tutorial, we will be looking at how to create a custom workflow within the Blanco Mobile Diagnostics and Erasure software. For the purpose of this tutorial, I will be creating a workflow that will first check if the device manufacturer is Apple, and if it is, the workflow will check the status of the FMIP feature to identify if it's locked to an iCloud account prior to moving on to the diagnostic tests and then erasing. Here I have a fresh installation of the mobile software, which I will be using to show the process of creating a workflow. To access the workflow editor, we first have to access the settings menu, and then select the device menu. We can see in the erasure and diagnostic process section that we currently have one of the default workflows selected. To create our own workflow, I will need to first click the Create Custom button, which will then present the workflow editor. I will start by configuring the settings for the connected workflow action, which we can find on the right hand side of the editor. I can change the name of the workflow by clicking the pen icon. For this example, I will name it FMIP Check. Next, I will configure the other settings shown here as required. For the purpose of this video, I will only be enabling the automatically start when device connected option. Now that I've finished editing the connected settings, I will start building the rest of the workflow. I'm going to start by adding a condition action. I can do this by clicking and dragging the appropriate icon like this. Next, we can link the connected and condition steps by clicking and dragging the plus icon. Now that the first two steps are linked, I will configure the settings for the condition step. As mentioned earlier, we're going to be checking the FMIP status of any Apple devices which are connected. And so to do this, I will drag the iOS option from the available list, which will then automatically enter the necessary details into the conditional statement section as we can see here. Having this condition step set this way will result in any Apple devices which are detected following the green route and all other devices following the red route. Now that we have this set as required, we can add the FMIP check action and connect the green route to it. Next, I will configure the settings. Here we can see there are several different sources available for obtaining the FMIP status. We can also enter the details necessary to connect to an existing Recipro account if to be used. For this example, I will select our advanced hardware option. Now that we have the FMIP check action configured, I will add a second condition action, which will look at the results of the FMIP check. I can do this by selecting and dragging the FMIP unlocked item from the available list, which enters the required details into the conditional statement field. This provides us with a route for the device to take if it is or isn't locked. The green route in this case will be followed if the device is unlocked. This will lead to the diagnostic tests. With this being the case, I will add the diagnose action and link these two together. If, however, the device is locked, we will follow the red route. For this example, I'm going to configure it to present the operator with a question. To do this, I'll add the question action and link the red route to it. Now that we have the question action added, we can specify the question and available responses. In this case, I want the operator to be shown the following question. The device is FMIP locked. Do you want to continue? I have the option to enter predefined responses by selecting this box and configuring the responses here. For this example, I will use the default yes, no options. Selecting yes in this case will continue processing the device. So I'll link the green route to the diagnose action. 
The red route, however, will stop processing the device, and so I will link it to a finalize action. In the finalize action, I will configure the settings to clearly indicate the reason for the device finishing. I will do this by defining the status text to show as the device is FMIP locked. This will show in the UI. I will also confirm that the UI state is set to fail, which also sets the status color to red. I'm going to change the color as we will be using red later for the failed route. We can change the color by clicking the color icon. When we do this, we are presented with the color editor. I can select from any of the basic colors shown. For the purpose of this example, I will select yellow. Now that we have completed the route for the locked devices in the workflow, let's continue with the rest of the workflow. First, let's set a route for any devices which aren't Apple. Those will follow the red route in the initial condition action, so I will link that directly to the diagnose action. Next, let's take a look at the diagnose action settings. Here we can see that we can specify the diagnostic test sets to be used based on whether the device is an Android or an Apple. For this example, I will leave the default settings. However, these can be changed to any test sets which have been configured in the software. Now that the diagnose action is configured, we can add the next step in the workflow, which will be arrays. In this example, I only want devices which have completed the diagnostics successfully to move to erasing, and so I will link the green route to the arrays action. Next, I will configure the arrays settings. Here we can see that we can define the erasure method based on the type of device. Again, I'm going to leave the default methods set for this example. Now that the diagnose and erase actions have been completed, we're going to want to send the report which has been generated. To do this, let's add a send report action and link the green route to it. To complete this route, we're going to want to add another finalize action and link the send report action to it. This completes the route for the devices that have completed the whole process successfully. With this being the case, I will set the UI state to success. We can see that the status color has also changed accordingly. Lastly, we need to define the route for the failed devices to follow. To do this, I will add another send report action and another finalize action to the workflow. Now that we have the full route added, I will link the red routes from both the diagnose and erase actions to the send report action. For the finalize action, I will set the UI state as fail. This completes the configuration of all possible routes for devices. I can now click the save and exit button. The new workflow is automatically selected to be used for any devices going forwards. This completes the tutorial. Thank you for using Blanco.